Otto Kilcher, from Alaska the Last Frontier, stands out as one of the most cherished reality TV personalities, redefining the modern concept of being a daredevil on television for real. Set against Alaska's unforgiving weather, the show offers viewers a thrilling experience as they uncover new survival tactics amidst the icy expanse of the state's rocky mountains and snow-covered valleys. Otto, the show's central figure, not only endures the challenges of this harsh environment with minimal resources, but also captivates audiences with his unparalleled survival instincts. Otto has been a part of the show since its inception, as it served as a springboard for his own career as a leading reality TV personality. But when he suddenly left the show, fans all over the globe were shocked and saddened. After investing so many years and receiving global admiration for his work, no one expected Otto to leave so abruptly. What prompted Otto Kilcher to leave Alaska The Last Frontier without any prior warning? Let's delve into this mystery while also exploring Kilcher's life and current whereabouts. Early life of Otto Kilcher. Otto Kilcher comes from a modest background with a humble family who did not originally belong to Alaska. But unlike many who immigrated to the state from other towns, Otto was born on Alaskan soil on the 19th of April, 1952, in the city of Homer. From childhood and into early adulthood, he lived in a completely isolated environment where he had no knowledge of the outside world, no access to modern conveniences, and no idea what was going on outside Alaska. His parents, Yule Kilcher and Ruth Kilcher, migrated from Switzerland during World War II and settled in Alaska, USA, where they established their home on several acres of icy land. Although there are no records of Otto attending formal schooling as a child, he taught himself various skills, becoming the family's handyman. The lack of modern luxuries created a space where he could freely exercise his creative energies to produce antics that would make his routine tasks easier to perform. He experimented with fixing objects around the house, particularly mechanical ones, often transforming them into more useful items. As he grew up, he took on many odd jobs to earn his bread. As he was almost naturally good at fixing and repairing items, he eventually became a professional mechanic to put bread and butter on the table for his family. Otto Kilcher's journey from farm to fame. However, being a mechanic was not his true passion, but rather just a survival skill. Otto's life dream was to live far away, out in the wild. This led him to get involved with animal farming, and he tended to the family's livestock to ensure a steady supply of meat. So he got hands-on experience taking care of animals in the harsh weather of Alaska. He not only added a very useful new skill for survival in Alaskan weather conditions, but also succeeded in sustaining a small animal farm where he bred diverse livestock. Yet while working on his farm, he still carried a small key knife to fix things around whenever there was a need. He also had a habit of hoarding random objects, believing he could put them to good use at some point. This humble lifestyle persisted until Otto and his family found themselves thrust into the spotlight. In the frigid expanse of Alaska, dreams of fame seemed like mere fantasies. However, this impossibility became a reality with the advent of several television shows that propelled numerous inhabitants to stardom. For the Kilcher family, it was Alaska, the last frontier that altered their destiny. This American television show highlights the experiences of the Kilcher dynasty, with a particular focus on their survival in the harsh weather conditions that deterred many from Alaska for decades. Remarkably, the Kilcher family has endured these challenges for four generations, making life in Alaska bearable despite the lack of modern conveniences. Those fortunate enough to call an urban center home will undoubtedly find this intriguing. Consequently, the Discovery Channel reasoned that it would be beneficial to provide its viewers extensive exposure to cultures outside of urban centers, a glimpse into life on the last frontier. As soon as the Discovery Channel found Otto and the family living in Alaska, they decided to film their daily lives to give viewers around the world a glimpse of life 
in Alaskan lands. Since its premiere on December 29, 2011, on the Discovery Channel, Alaska, The Last Frontier, has mesmerized viewers with its raw depiction of life off the grid. Spearheaded by the resilient Otto Kilcher, the show introduces viewers to prominent family members such as Charlotte, Atz, Bonnie, Atz Lee, Jane, Ivan, Eve, and Shane Kilcher. The Kilcher family members on the show belong to different age groups, including children, women, teens, and elderly people. All of them make the show more entertaining while sticking together and helping each other survive the winters of Alaska, which can freeze them within seconds if not protected properly. With an impressive 11 seasons and 176 episodes, this series has held audiences hooked since its premiere. Each episode dives deep into the daily struggles and triumphs of the Kilchers, from navigating rugged landscapes to braving harsh winters. Whether it's farming, hunting, or overcoming mechanical mishaps, the Kilchers embody resilience in the face of adversity, offering viewers a front row seat to their captivating journey. Otto contributes to his family's survival efforts by using the skills he has learned over the years. He learned many of the things that he now passes on to his children from his father. He seems to know almost all the jobs that are needed for survival in the midst of the extremely cold region. In fact, he is often helping others with different tasks and teaching them the expertise that he has. For Otto, doing all of these jobs is just a piece of cake. Yet, Alaska, The Last Frontier, is more than a mere survival tale. It's a celebration of family bonds and the enduring connection between humanity and nature. Through stunning scenery and compelling storytelling, the series showcases the Kilcher's unwavering commitment to self-sufficiency and their profound reverence for the land. As viewers immerse themselves in the Kilcher's world to educate themselves on how life is in Alaska, they discover the values that shape the lives of people living there and find the deep-rooted ties that bind them to their surroundings. With each episode, Alaska The Last Frontier invites audiences on an unforgettable adventure, leaving them inspired by the Kilcher's resilience and in awe of the majestic beauty of life on the last frontier. Otto was instrumental in bringing everything to life with passion and audacity, and the show contained a wealth of information that gave viewers a fresh outlook on Earth. However, as all good things come to an end, Otto vanished from the upcoming seasons of the show as well. But what was the reason behind that? This occurred because Otto found himself in a potentially fatal circumstance. Let's find out what exactly stopped him from continuing his contribution to the show despite his popularity. The accident that almost killed Otto Kilcher. To understand just how popular Otto became, imagine a child who struggled to survive in extremely cold weather with minimal resources. His family's livelihood mostly depended on hunting, and if they failed to find something to eat from the wild, they knew they would go hungry as there were no other options for survival. Now, would you expect that same child to grow up to become a man with a fortune of $4 million? Yes, this is how much Otto Kilcher earned, but this fortune definitely came with a price. The truth is that while working on Alaska The Last Frontier, Otto Kilcher risked his life not once, but multiple times. He embarked on adventures that forced him to face death often, keeping the show's thrill alive. One time Otto got into a serious accident and he had to stop working in order to recover, but accidents are not a new thing for someone who has been living in the wild for almost all his life, are they? Certainly this was not a usual accident. The truth is that Otto's good intentions led him into a precarious situation, and the consequences were more severe than he had anticipated. Sadly, Otto does get hurt every now and then on these exciting adventures, but none of his prior mishaps have been as devastating as this one. His injuries from the recent accident were so severe that word of his demise quickly spread. 
Some reputable news sources and those who knew him personally even took the reports of his death at face value. What actually happened was that Otto found an ox outside during a snowstorm and tried to save it from the weather. He was certain that leaving the ox in the snow would be fatal for it, so he decided to rescue it. However, things didn't work out as planned, and the rescue efforts made the ox feel threatened. Panicking, the ox attacked him and injured him so badly that he had to be admitted to the hospital for days. The situation was even more dangerous because there were no helicopters available at that time to transport Otto to the hospital immediately. He had received multiple serious wounds that needed urgent treatment. They had to get Otto to the closest hospital using a badly equipped ambulance, which was all they had at the moment. The doctors at the local hospital soon figured out that Otto had punctured his lungs badly and broken some of his ribs, as well as a broken shoulder. It was obvious that recovering from these injuries was going to take a long time. He went through multiple surgeries and a number of other complications, including blood clotting in different parts of his body. Doctors even thought that he might never fully recover and might not be able to walk again for the rest of his life. For days, Otto was hanging between life and death, which made some people think he would pass away very soon. As Otto lay in the hospital, the rumors of his death spread on many news channels, but his spirit remained unbroken. The doctors worked tirelessly to treat his injuries, and slowly, he began to recover. It was a long and painful process, but Otto's determination never wavered. He knew that he had to get back on his feet, not just for himself, but for his family and the countless fans who looked up to him. As soon as Otto recovered a bit, he left the hospital to continue his rough and sturdy lifestyle at his home in Alaska. He started doing all the tough jobs that he used to do before the injury. In fact, he became even more active than he was before, according to his family. Otto has shown time and again that he is not just a survivor, but a true pioneer, willing to put everything on the line to protect his family and his way of life. His family, in return, is also caring for him, and so they got seriously worried about Otto taking up too many things on his plate while having declining health and a distressing old age. His loved ones could see that his health had declined since his injury, and they worried that his heavy workload was making matters worse. In order to put a stop to him, they mandated that he take a mandatory leave from work. This was to lighten up his routine workload and make him feel relaxed. The doctors warned Otto that he risked becoming bedridden from physical discomfort if he disregarded his family's advice and neglected his health, so he agreed to take a break from work. This caused his absence from recent seasons, which shocked his die-hard fans across the world. Although he took the much-needed rest, his body started showing signs of weakness, and he had to deal with one after another health issue. Despite the lingering health issues, he was steadily recovering with time, and his body was healing gradually. While going through this whole trauma, he also had to deal with a psychological hindrance, as there were many rumors about his death every other day. However, Otto stayed steadfast and strong-headed, defying the odds and coming out stronger. He constantly ensured that he was connected to his fans via social media and other outlets and kept updating them regarding this recovery status. Otto's story is a powerful reminder of the strength of the human spirit. It shows us that no matter how difficult the circumstances, we can overcome them with determination and courage. His journey from a struggling child to a man of fortune, his brush with death, and his incredible recovery are all testaments to his unyielding will and the indomitable spirit of the Kilcher family. Will Otto Kilcher return to Alaska, the last frontier after recovery? Otto has been keeping his fans updated on social media, showing that he is back to handling the daily chores essential for their self-sufficient lifestyle. However, the uncertainty surrounding his health 
has led to questions about his future participation in Alaska, The Last Frontier. While his activity on the show has declined, he still goes on various adventures in Alaska with his grandchildren, teaching them survival skills and performing antics and stunts. This clearly indicates that he is still very much himself and continues to engage in the activities he loves. Despite the questions about his return, it does not seem likely that Otto will hold back once his health and energy are fully restored. He has assured fans that he plans to come back after his recovery. By staying connected with his fans through social media posts, he not only keeps them updated, but also mitigates the spread of false death rumors. This engagement reassures viewers that he will be back on the show soon, ready to continue sharing his adventures and survival skills. Another deadly accident that happened in Alaska, the last frontier. Interestingly enough, Otto Kilcher wasn't the only one who suffered from a horrible accident. His brother, Atz Lee, who has also been a central figure on the show, suffered a nearly fatal accident in 2015 that left him with severe injuries and a long path to recovery. The media outlets reported him dead in the news, which was later corrected by the family. The incident occurred when Atz Lee, while hiking in Otter Cove close to Homer, Alaska, slipped and fell off a cliff. His wife, Jane, shared the extent of his injuries in a Facebook post, revealing that he suffered a broken arm, shoulder, ankle, and hip, as well as crushed ribs and two punctured lungs. The road to recovery was daunting, and the family appreciated the outpouring of support from fans. Atz Lee, who is also the younger brother of famous singer Jewel, kept his fans updated on his progress via social media. He expressed gratitude for being alive and recovering at home with his family. In an Instagram post, he detailed his injuries and thanked everyone for their support, saying, My broken bones are healing nicely, considering how many I broke. Lungs are holding strong, and every day I feel a little stronger. He shared photos of his x-rays and hospital stay, acknowledging the severity of his condition. Despite the slow recovery process, Atz Lee remained optimistic, working hard with his physical therapist and looking forward to returning to his adventurous lifestyle. A year following the fall, Atz shared more encouraging news regarding his recovery journey, which was documented in the Discovery Channel series. Looking back on the accident, he was thankful for his family, friends and health, and he thanked everyone for their support and well wishes. In 2017, Atz Lee filed a lawsuit against the Alaskan resort where the accident occurred, seeking $100,000 in damages. He claimed the resort was responsible for his fall due to inadequate safety measures and warnings. However, the resort denied any liability, arguing that the accident was due to Atz Lee's own negligence. Despite the legal battles, Atz Lee and the Kilcher family continued to feature on Alaska The Last Frontier. In season eight, viewers saw Atz Lee and his wife embark on a journey to Attic Island to hunt caribou, while his father, Atz Senior, worked on transforming his boat into a home. Jewel also made a return to the series, teaching her son, Case, essential survival skills for the homestead. Otto Kilcher's new ventures, how he sustains his wealth, beyond reality TV. Now, if you are curious about how Otto sustains himself without traditional work, it's important to understand that he's far more than just a beloved reality TV personality. He is also a successful entrepreneur, having established his own brand, Otto Machine, which has proven lucrative by leveraging his expertise as both a skilled machinist and mechanic. His presence on Alaska, The Last Frontier, has undoubtedly bolstered his financial standing as well. Combined, these ventures have contributed to his estimated net worth, which falls between $4 million and $5 million. As of 2024, his net worth hovers around $4 million. This wealth primarily stems from his involvement in the popular reality TV series, Alaska The Last Frontier, 
documenting the daily challenges faced by the Kilcher family in the rugged Alaskan wilderness. Additionally, Otto's mechanical skills and various homestead enterprises significantly bolster his financial success. Alaskan hero Otto has a close-knit family to carry on his legacy. Otto Kilcher has a remarkable set of skills and attributes that have helped him survive in one of the most hostile environments, and his fans adore and respect him for it. Fortunately, he is supported by a loving, tight-knit family poised to carry forward his legacy and the expertise he has imparted. With three children from different partners, his family is a testament to his commitment to nurturing relationships. Presently, Otto enjoys marital bliss with his third wife, biologist Charlotte Irene Adamson. The pair has a son together named August Kilcher, in addition to accepting Charlotte's son, Tori, as his own son. Before Charlotte, he had two previous wives. The first, Olga von Ziegesar, remains shrouded in mystery regarding their marital details, although it is known that their union ended in divorce without children. Undeterred by love's challenges, he then married Sharon Makimi, with whom he had two children, Levi Kilcher and Ivan Kilcher, before their marriage ended in 1987. Throughout his life, Otto has been dedicated to passing on his creative abilities to his children, ensuring they possess the skills to thrive with whatever resources are at hand. When can we expect the next season of Alaska, The Last Frontier? Alaska, The Last Frontier Season 12 has not gotten the official thumbs up or down from Discovery yet. So fans are left hanging, eagerly waiting to hear if their favorite show will be back for more adventures. They were expecting the new season to drop around October 2023 like previous ones, but that did not happen. Now they're just crossing their fingers for any news about when they can dive back into the Kilcher family's world. Everybody's wondering who's going to be in the next season. Of course, Atz Kilcher and his wife are likely to make an appearance, along with the rest of the gang. But there's some uncertainty about whether everyone will be back, especially Ivan's cousin, Atz. Fans are itching for updates, keeping their eyes peeled for any announcements from Discovery. After all, the show is not just about survival in the wilderness of Alaska, it's about family, adventure, and living life to the fullest, no matter how tough things get. So here's hoping we get to join the Kilchers for another season of excitement soon. Otto Kilcher's journey on Alaska, The Last Frontier, exemplifies resilience, determination, and survival against all odds. While fans eagerly anticipate news of his potential return to the show, his influence continues to resonate globally. Whether Otto returns to the screen or not, his impact on the show and the enduring spirit of the Kilcher family will remain a testament to human resilience in the Alaskan wilderness. What are your thoughts on Otto's departure and the possibility of the next season airing soon? Will Otto make a comeback if the new season is released this year? Share your opinions in the comments below.